Hello family, my name is Akua and I welcome you to my channel. And if today is your first time, I welcome you to my channel. I am an oracle of God and so I speak the mind of God as the Holy Spirit gives me inspiration. Today I want to speak about addiction. Yeah, every addiction starts as uh, just uh, an innocent experience. Um, you are experimenting or you encounter something that your flesh got attached to. I want to share a story of a young man that approached me one time. So I went to this church to have a meeting with a group of youth. And um, in the process of communication, I sense the spirit of seduction so strongly around me. And so I abandoned the mission and started preaching against seduction and addiction and sexual impurities. And so I kept speaking about holiness and I was addressing an issue I have picked from my spirit that I was uncomfortable with. And after speaking for like about 30 minutes, I round up and I concluded my mission. By the time I got to my house, I received a message from a young man that was in the meeting and said, woman of God, the message that you were preaching, I was the reason why you changed your message. And I said, really? Then what is the purpose and wh what are you engaged in? And this young man began to express his experience whilst he was in senior high. They went to a place to play football, but their opponents kept them waiting so one of the youth or one of the people among them said that look my house is not far from here so let's go watch a movie and because he was bored he decided to follow this guy and as they got to the house they were watching a pawn now as they watched this pawn for a while that was his first encounter watching such a movie and as he kept watching, he was intrigued and he was captured by the activity of what was going on. And he said immediately he saw a black bed, a black bed coming from the screen of the television that he was watching entered him. And that is the last thing he remembered. And since that time, there has never been a day that he doesn't masturbate to sleep. And so it became so intense that he doesn't know what to do. And the terrible aspect of this story is that he was a caretaker of a church. And so this troubled him for so long. And any time he have this experience, um, there will be a strange woman that will come as if he's in a trance because he will not be asleep. And a strange woman in the form of a bed will enter the room and become a woman and sleep with him. And as soon as she's done, there will be this strong desire and he has to masturbate to release himself and he had continued for years and this has been tormenting him after explaining this to me i noticed that this addiction of this experience has moved from the spirit the physical realm to the spiritual realm and he has been tormenting him and any time after this encounter he becomes sick ladies and gentlemen addiction is real addiction can torment you sometimes there are two ways people react to addiction they can say oh everyone is going through it ah oh, this is nothing and they move to apostasy where the conviction of the holy spirit doesn't work on them any longer and there are others that the spirit of god still prompts them and this torment them day in day out I don't know what you are struggling with, but today I want to encounter you with the word of God. Bible says if we said we have no sin, then the truth of God is not in us. 
whether you like it or not everyone is struggling with one thing there's someone who is struggling or is addicted to lies and gossip there are others who are addicted to stealing and they can do nothing except they obey this enterprise that is not of god and you i don't know what you are battling with but there are ways that you can go through to get yourself out of addiction i don't know what you are struggling with but today i want to introduce a man that has the power over every addiction which is christ jesus there are ways to overcome addiction one way is to acknowledge the father you have a problem acknowledge the father there is a challenge and that you need help to make conscious effort to speak to a spiritual authority over your life a pastor a godfather someone that has a spiritual authority to help you overcome this addiction because the more you expose the devil the more he flees from you but when you continue to cover it up the devil will have the opportunity to deal with you thirdly you must go into a fast a prayer time and the word of god and seek the face of god concerning it there is power in fasting and there is power in prayer and there is power in waiting upon god there is nothing too hard for the lord to do so instead of you judging the fact that maybe everyone is not perfect so this is your cross Jesus did not say, wallow in self-pity. He said, carry your cross and follow me. And so I am entreating you. If you are suffering from any form of addiction, you can get in touch with me or get in touch with a spiritual authority. You are confident that he will be able to help you and start a fast prayer and read the word of God. But I pray for you that any hold that the devil has over you, you'll be liberated from it and have total dominion. And I pray for you that you'll be able to overcome this addiction. God bless you as you travel in his word. My name is Prophetess Akua. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. God bless you and be part of this family. You're blessed.